All right, we got a guy in Canada stripped down to his underwear, jumped into an icy harbor to retrieve his phone. People tried to talk him out of it and then cheered him on. Here's what that sounded like. The phone is right there. Look. Dude, your phone's ruined. Don't jump in there. This is a bad idea. Well, I think your phone is wrecked. It's not worth it. Uh, it's not that deep. I just got to see this. It's not that far. You can swim back. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah. I love the booze bag woman <laughs> screaming, just do it in the background. <laughs> And if you're sitting there saying, how yeah. do you know she's a booze bag? Uh, Trust me, I know. Okay. Yes, do it! You, you know it for a fact, huh? Yeah, I was going to say, what, you know, know, is it worth it? No, I'm going to throw my phone into an icy river today. Sure. Icy harbor. Are you? Just for laughs, because it won't, it won't, uh-huh. it won't, it won't do anything I'm asking it to do. That's right. Well, you need more memory in that baby, okay? Yeah, it's memory time. Okay. Whatever the hell that is. Story two. Uh, let's talk penile implants. A penis. Uh, approved by the uh, FDA, now being offered at a New England hospital, Dr. Michael O'Leary of Brigham and Women's Hospital. In Boston, one of uh, just 10 surgeons in the States who perform the cosmetic procedure. Uh, a silicone implant called Panuma is inserted under the skin, adds length and width to the penis. Sure. Dr. O'Leary did his first surgery earlier this month, says 300 men have already expressed interest. The only drawback to this is that it's not covered by insurance and cost $18,000. Whoa. Panuma's inventor is hoping uh, penile implants will become less taboo, like breast implants. How about more affordable? Let's do a pros and cons list. Right? All right. Okay. So pros, right? Yeah. Bigger penis. Right. Bigger penis. Mm-hmm. We're going to put that on the cons list, too. Well, it depends on what big is. You know? Bigger penis on both the pros and cons list. We know why you'd put it on the pros list. Right. Why would you put it on the cons list? Could be too big. Could be, yeah. Some uh, people that you get involved with may not sure. like it you know, all that big. You know, they see it. There's a, no, nope. Also, it's a massive conversation piece. Right. That could go on the pros and the cons <laughs> list, too. This is complicating your life <laughs> exponentially. Right. Right. You know, you just become this thing. You become just a penis. That's what you become when yeah. you do this. Yeah. You know, it's all anybody wants to talk about. Yeah, because we just keep talking it's about it. It's probably all you want to talk about, uh, but then you're going to get sick of it, right? Sure. Uh, and I want to put a big con down. Okay. You know? Could die. Let's write that down. Yep. In big, bold letters, because it is elective surgery. Chance of death, yes. Yeah. Is it worth it, really? Is anybody out there, I don't know, I think I just reached an age where I'm done. I'm not, I, I'm not, I have no interest in, in, in uh, impressing anybody with my penis or otherwise. You used to, but not anymore. I just, I'm not impressed by <laughs> impressing people. I don't care. Okay. Can we move on? Is that yeah. okay? Okay. Story three. We have a woman in Alaska. Her name is Shannon Stevens. She used an outhouse while camping last weekend. Uh-huh. She got attacked from below by a bear. It got in through an access hole that was covered up by rocks. She ended up with a puncture wound but wasn't seriously injured. Sat down on the toilet seat and something just immediately bit me in the butt. I'm like, okay, I'm going to open the lid and look. And I take the headlamp and I grab the lid of the toilet seat and I lift it up. And right there, right at the level of the toilet seat, like maybe an inch or two below, is a gigantic bear face looking right back up at me. It felt like just a single, like, puncture. Maybe it wasn't even a bite. Like, it might have been a swipe with his claw, potentially. I mean, I'm definitely going to look down in the hole (laughs) next time. I got bit in the ass today, son. This is everybody's worst nightmare. Well, it's the con- it's on the cons list for moving to Alaska, right? Yeah, Why do yeah. you do that? You do it to get away That's from people. It. What are you saying? That you have a chance, more of a chance to get bit in the ass on a, a, a on a toilet if you move to Alaska? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's right. How is that not true? It's true. You could, that could happen anywhere. Could it? Not just Alaska. First of all, you have an outhouse because you live in Alaska. Yeah, I mean, you're wrong. You understand the chances have- of you getting bit in the ass in an outhouse by a bear in Connecticut yeah. are far lower than your, than your ass biting yeah. in Alaska. I think you speak too soon. No, I don't think I do. I mean, there are big cities in Alaska, you know, like Juneau and 
Anchorage. Oh, they're massive. They're giant. They're giant metropolis. cities. Zzz. Yeah, no, it, you're right. What would you rather get bit? Because this is a psychotic Really? Argument. Are you you're really going to ask this question? Are you going to ask this question? Yeah. Go ahead. Animals, the worst animals to get bit in the ass by. I got to say, bears on this list, right? We got to put All them right. on there. Big fear yeah. factor with the, the ass biting with the beer. Okay. What about uh, the box jellyfish? That'll end you. You don't need that. All right. That's bit in the ass fine. by a box jelly. How about a golden poison frog? No. Can't be good. No. No. How about a puma? Puma, bad. Yeah. Bad ass biting. We're done with Mr. Hippopotamus. We are now. What about the puffer? The black mamba. Finished right now. A with mosquito. Missed headlines. A saltwater crocodile. 903. Gastropod. Ethan and Lou. Great white shark. Enjoy a breakfast bundle at McDonald's. 